During the pandemic, many of us developed a heightened concern and awareness of germs. Mm -hmm. Many people here in Vegas stopped working out at the gym, but those numbers are on the rebound. Yes, they are. And now that we're back to sharing dumbbells and treadmills, the question is, how do we stay healthy at a fitness center? Steve Rosen joins us now. He is with Stratus Building Solutions with a few ideas to share. Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was great to connect with you virtually during the pandemic. Of course, we were really deep diving in the topic of germs then. That's right. But now we're back in person. People are back in places, you know, public places, restaurants, community centers, and gyms. How do we stay safe from germs at the gym? Well, you basically you want to use some good common sense, right? So there's a lot of places that are going to be dirtier than others. So it's always a good idea when you first get into the gym to wash your hands, make sure you're thoroughly washed with soap and water for at least 20 to 30 seconds. And then, you know, just make sure you use common sense guidelines when you're working out at the gym. All right, common sense, Gordy. Common sense makes sense. You know, yeah. people are often asked to uh, wipe down the equipment after they have done their, their, their workout on that piece. Right. Mm -hmm. What about maybe rubbing it down, working it and, and rubbing it up first before they get on it? I see some people do that at the gym, but is that a good idea as it well? It is, it is a very good idea just to make sure you, you know, wipe it down before as well as after. And you, there, most of the gyms now, they have disinfectant sprays inside the, anywhere. Like within about every 15, 20 feet you can go, you can find a disinfectant spray and, and paper towels. Mm -hmm. So you wanna make sure that you, you know, spray the paper towel. I wouldn't saturate it. I mean, you would, right. don't need to go and, yeah. you know, soak the thing because when you do that and you wipe down the equipment, what ends up happening is you leave a pool of wet behind. And, you know, if you do that after, it looks kind of disgusting for the next person that comes over. <laughs> and you don't really need to do that. A, a little right. goes a long way. So, you know, four to five squirts of a good disinfectant is probably all you need on a paper towel. You wipe sure. down the surface, you're perfectly fine. You should be good to go. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, speaking of the gym or anywhere that we visit frequently, uh, you know, we don't really know the cleaning habits of the right. business, do we? So you are, of course, a commercial cleaning service with Stratus Building Solutions. Is there a way we can find out if our gym has a commercial cleaning service engaged? Well, you can certainly ask the gym management. You know, most of the time they will have in-house commercial cleaners. I, right. I do see occasionally people in there doing vacuuming, uh, you're usually the employees of the gym themselves, and it's not a bad idea just to ask a, a manager or person in charge, hey, what are your protocols in regard to commercial cleaning, and you know, what are you doing to make sure that the gym is as germ-free as possible? Mm -hmm. I would imagine that it's a competitive industry that you're in, so what are some of the techniques that your company uses that, that set you apart? And you know, So I'll have, a, I'll have a, 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 a sense of ease when I see that you are working with the gym that I'm working out with. Yeah. So so um, you know, all of the uh, chemicals that we use are safe and non-toxic. They're what's called Green Seal certified. So a third party organization has tested them for their safeness as well as non-toxicity and being effective. And so effective is the main word that we use. We want to make sure that the, the chemicals that they're using are effective. Uh, most of the time, if you're using uh, disinfectants with uh, neutral cleaners, those will do the job 99% of the time. Hmm. We can have faith that they're they're doing what they need to do. Exactly. I mean, the, the trick is germs are invisible, right? And right. so I think there's been a lot of kind of myths spread or a lot of people kind of imagine that they're being affected by germs when they may or may not be in contact mm -hmm. with the germs. It's kind of been a tough thing to navigate. Do you have any other tips for people? You've been in this, this industry for a while, right. so you're pretty experienced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's not a bad idea if you have immune comp uh, compromises to, to wear some personal protective things like a mask. You know, you, right. you may want to wear gloves. Those are, those are not bad things to use, especially if you have some sort of amino compromise. I mean, germs are going to be a part of life. I mean, bacteria is just everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's a naturally occurring thing. So we can't eliminate germs completely. Um, but we can certainly use some common sense to at least reduce the amount right. of exposure that we might come across when we're in those type of environments. Well, awesome, Steve. I actually love this conversation because I love cleaning, but we appreciate your professionalism. <laughs> uh, in addition to cleaning gyms, you clean many uh, commercial spaces here in Las Vegas. That's right, that's right. In addition to gyms, we also clean areas like office spaces, 
churches, schools, pretty much anything that's a commercially based type of environment. Excellent. Well, thank you for coming in and sharing. Yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate Thanks, it. We thank appreciate you. it. Uh, if you would like to learn more and keep it clean, guys, you can visit their website, stratusclean.com. It's right there on your screen as well as their phone number, stratusclean.com. Thanks, Steve. Thank you so Thanks, much. Steve.